Hello everybody, in this video we are going to create animations for our player character. So for player character we have these four characters and uh, let's add the player guy here and just for uh, analyzing the size of this uh, character and as you can see it's quite big. Yeah. So I think we should uh, make it a uh, little bit smaller. So for example, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. And you can see why it's not visible. Uh, because on Z axis it's become uh, 0 0.6. Yeah, we will make it zero because we are not working with Z axis. So even we can make it five or one actually. Yeah, okay. So Z axis should be the same uh, and player now if we see in it in game view you can see this size is quite good I think uh, yeah this is good size or maybe 0 0.7 0 0.7 yeah 0 0.7 is good I think so that's fine we should add a size of 0 0.7 so we will select every prefab let's make it 0 0.7 0 0.7 and save for player girl then we will just open the prefab make it 0.7 that's why I created level before adding the animations okay so uh, for this we will just open the prefab and for this you can see that it already has scale of 0.67 and uh, uh, for this we will do uh, uh, scale it manually okay so here you can also see a scale is uh, different so we can open this prefab uh, you can see in scene view and now we will drag drop this and then we will select the player stylish we will just uh, scale it a little bit okay oh sorry because player guy is also going smaller and smaller okay no problem uh, for solving this issue what we can do uh, that you can see player prefab has this uh, so let's uh, open the prefab delete this guy from this prefab and now we will just move back and for player stylish we will scale it uh, like this and just move it to our player and I think this is the right size and now you can see we have this scale okay so just copy this scale copy component and now we can open the prefab and we will paste it here okay so now I think so everything is fine so now if we move here you can see that our second character is also scaled and this character we need to scale it as well so we will just uh, scale it to like uh, like this and when we are happy yeah that's fine so this is the scale so just copy the scale and then we will open the prefab and paste this scale values so that's it we have successfully changed the scale for these players now time to add animations so for animations uh, we will select our character okay and uh, we will go to animation we will click on create with selection of player guy then we will click on create and then we can go to animations folder here we have folder of uh, guy player and actually we don't need it uh, it was created before and I will just delete it and then again I will create it player guy so now we will just open it and we will name our first animation which will be idle animation so for adding animations we will just uh, click on this icon to record animation 
and then we can manipulate this uh, value so for the normal uh, stage this is the correct position so we will just change this position and again I will make it zero so now the first node is recorded and the first point is zero uh, this is the main point so now we will select the 15th frame and uh, let's add 15th and I don't want to move legs so I will just select head body right arm left arm uh, and I will leave legs and I will just rotate it a little bit towards uh, yeah, actually I will just uh, move to original position then here and then I will select these I will just uh, move these section little bit okay and little bit of rotation as well very light rotation okay then we will go to 30th frame uh, we will just move it a little bit more and for movement we will add it a little bit here okay and we will just copy this frame uh, this frame copy and we will paste it at foot 5 and then we will copy this frame the beginning frame and we will add it to one second so now if you play the animation you can see this is idle animation the simple animation and you can definitely make it perfect uh, but for me uh, it is fine and uh, that's fine actually so this is our idle animation so that's fine now we will create next animation so for creating new animation we will click here and we, we will click on create new clip and for this animation we will just add run animation and that's fine now again we will select the uh, record button and for run definitely uh, definitely we need to we need a reference for run actually so I will just go adventures PNG guy and here if we see the run animation then we will get an idea okay so here it is so you can see he's running like uh, this and uh, the first step will be this one oh and then right and then this one and then this one okay so from here you can get an idea also we can place the frames to make it like this actually yeah so yeah so for smooth uh, animation I think we will select it uh, till run shoot and I will just add it here uh, sorry we don't need animation uh, okay we have g idea for this okay so now I will just select the character we will go to animations and for first frame we will make it rotate and it will be like this okay and also we will select this right foot and we will make it flip towards 180 degree okay 180 and uh, now uh, when it is flipped now we will just move this uh, like this okay so now this is the right position so this is the first position of run animation so now we will move to our 15th frame and uh, I will I'm not adding too much fluctuation so but actually I think 10 is fine so here we can just uh, uh, move it the parts a little bit so I will just select the right leg we will just move it like this and for leg bottom we will move it like this okay and yeah and for the right leg we will select the uh, left leg actually and we will move it towards this okay and under the left leg bottom we will make it 
like this okay little bit of fluctuations definitely when we run uh, our body will also move so we will select the right arm and uh, body and head and we will make a little bit of fluctuation here as well and left arm as well so yeah like this now we will move to 20th frame and here we will again select the right leg and we will just move it a little bit more okay and right leg bottom we will move it a little bit more like this we can also assign the position and then we will select left leg definitely you can create your own animations in a better way if you want okay so i think uh, like this yeah so now we will move further and we will make the uh, this animation a little bit more smooth and actually we are actually on this frame we also need to move the uh, body sections as well so I will just select these a little bit of movement like this and and like this as well okay so now uh, we will select again the right leg we will go to 30th frame and we will move it a little bit more okay and this one a little bit more and uh, left leg a little bit more and this one a little bit like this okay and uh, now for the body right arm body head left arm we will just move it little bit more and little bit more like this uh, moving further we will just I will just uh, copy the this frame uh, the 20th frame copy and here we will paste it then we will copy 10th frame and copy and here I would place it and then first frame will be at first uh, point okay and now if we play then you can see this is a running animation which didn't looks too great but we are happy i think uh, that is fine but uh, i think we should uh, yeah but our legs are not moving backward okay so for solving this issue i will just uh, delete this frame this frame as well this frame as well and we will move these frames a little bit like this okay and we will just add more fluctuations so uh, yeah actually this is good yeah so now we will move uh, here and at this point we will uh, select our right leg and we will move it towards front now okay also for this as well like this and for the left leg we will move it towards back and back like this move to next frame uh, 25 we will move it a little bit more and this a little bit more and then right leg we will move it here and bottom here okay so mm, yeah also we'll move a little bit here and for right leg we will move more like this and for left leg we will move like this okay and leg bottom we'll move it like this and right leg bottom like 
like this okay so a little bit of fluctuations so now if we play and you can see a fast uh, running uh, mechanism and which looks great actually but this layer you can see we have to modify this layer as well so but i am happy with this uh, result yeah so now we can just duplicate these layers copy and we will make inverse here just like this copy paste and actually this one this one this one and then this one copy and here we will paste it and then we hit copy paste and copy paste and copy and paste so in this way you can create your animations for your characters okay and actually if you see it here inside this view i'm not happy with the head uh, status but it's fine actually okay for game it will work so that's nice now we have added two animations idle and uh, run so in this way you can add multiple uh, animations okay i will just move with two animations and uh, also we will select our guy will open the prefab and for this uh, issue we will just select this layer and we'll make it six okay so it should be in uh, back of the gun okay so now if we play the game you will see animated character so he will be in idle position hopefully you can see he is idle but he is not in run position so that thing we will do in a, with our script and with our animator controller definitely so for uh, this character i will add couple of a couple more animations and you learn the method of uh, creating animations and you can create your own animations for your characters and in next video we'll move further and we will work with our player movements